All right, it's turn five, and the Americans and British have already established their infrastructure. Uh, they're sharing transports. They're landing in Normandy, Holland. Now, these can be fairly easily booted off, but uh, that's not the point. Despite the presence of a huge German Navy, uh, the Air Force needs to be in the east in order to really threaten the capital and to provide the numbers, honestly, for the defense of Briansk, because if they weren't there, then the Russians might be in, in, uh, in the realm of possibility of thinking about attacking. So, uh, it is tough times for the Axis. Let's see what happens. They buy ground units, not a surprise there, since uh, the Atlantic Wall is breaking down. And he's going to take those out handily and move into Tambov and Rostov. Okay, so is he going to take Volgograd? Obviously no, because he wants to leave that for the Germans and the Caucasus. So I believe those are both open. They are open, so the Caucasus is open. And low luck means that uh, we don't have to think about whether or not this is going to succeed. And same in the east. So I did. I think I did figure out uh, two in southern France. Okay, so that's for the reactive force, um, and one in southern Italy. So the margins here are not big. Um, Ten lost blockade. Awesome, love that. But he ends with thirteen dollars. So Italy is substantial. Let's just take a look real quick at the Italian Empire. So he's forming the background, uh, backbone of the uh, Atlantic Wall. And the invasion is a modest invasion. It's not like five transports, ten units. And so the defense is not like that either. And it's being held handily. But uh, the Italians are making a lot of money for this late in the game. So they're not making 30 bucks, but they are still making um, their eight, uh, their $13. All right, let's go on to the next one. Uh, this is Anzac. And then I will journey on Alright, Anzac is up, and let's see if we can discern. It's hard with this many units. Um, here's this territory guide. You go over here and you find out there's 26 units here. There's three scrambling fighters, plus, in addition to that, three planes for the Americans, two transports down here. So it's hard to keep um, track of the numbers, but you have to try. This is 21. Um, and of course, there's things like bombers that can reach longer than you think they can. Uh, so you got to keep try to keep an eye on the numbers. Uh, so this is three uh, subs, great buy for the naval war, especially after two transport buy. Okay, so he's going to support that with three. So he's going to try to bust up the um, uh, money islands for good. Is what it looks like. Let's see if the function works. Yeah, it does. Okay. So. And he's going to bring in another. He just he's got some time on his hands, so he's going to. He doesn't want to spend too much. Okay, fighter from Hawaii to Korea didn't see that action. Okay, so that was obviously pre-planned. A couple turns ago. Let's see if I can get that. On the deck. There it is on the deck, ready to go. One plane scrambling. 
is the setup situation with two subs. So two subs makes this um, a war zone, but with the scrambling fighter in the three v the four v two, not really. But this fighter is going to Korea. And then he's going to send a fourth. Not fearing at all for season 54. Who's the Northwest Territory? And places the subs. Simple turn, he collects 15 bucks. All right, so that. I mean, looks like I said, it's hard to discern the specifics um, besides numbers. But he believes that four, five, six, seven units there. Um, one, two, no artillery. Oh, he's got artillery right there. So, two. So he could bring six units in. This guy's got seven. One. So he does not have an air base in Quang Z, so those bombers can be used to take that out. But it's going to cost a bomber, I believe, in order to get that back. Okay, so strong moves. And all of a sudden, by the way, if you make Sumatra the battle, right, then all of a sudden, Shishwan, He Chao, Yu Hunan, Burma, India do not become the battle. So, and, of course, Sumatra is in the power zone of 54, which means you have to throw blockers, and you have to think about the naval um, back and forth there. So, strong moves uh, to make Sumatra the battle, own the Money Islands for the rest of the game, or at least one of them, break that $5 bonus, and he needs more Navy, more Air Force, instead of more Asian ground troops. Smart moves. Okay, and just moving those guys. I don't think there's any other French guys on board. Two and two and okay, three coming across to Brook, and all headed toward Northwest Persia, which he is content to sit and wait for his enemies. And that is the next turn. And I'm going to call that a short video. Uh, this is Crack of 36 reviewing my games uh, and Arthur Barman Harris's championship game. Um, turn five of the Anzac and France Force. Oh, in Italy.